Blend Drill Press 4212. Quick shipping, got this directly from Wen. It's on sale right now. It's like 210 or 215 dollars. The 10 inch and it's variable speed and it has a digital readout. It also has a laser. Cast iron base, this thing's pretty heavy. It's like 10 to 15 pounds. Looks like pretty good machining and nice, uh, nice coating throughout. Everything was packaged nice. So the metal parts do have a layer of grease. So here's the uh, knobs. Thing looks like it's machined pretty well. Here's the next layer of goodness. Here's the powder coating on the drill table. Looks like I got a nice even coating. And then the drill table looks nice, got nice machining marks. One thing here I don't like, they must have had a little pour out on their mold and rather than grind that flat before they powder coated it, they just worked around it. And it's just a little, I mean, that would have taken a second to hit with an angle grinder or something just to get a little better shape there, but no big deal. Not really a cut hazard. And I'm putting a, I have another table to put on top of this. So looks to be pretty flat. I'll get my square out and see what the square says. Looks pretty good. Base. All the teeth are in good shape. So the instructions say, with the help of a friend or a trustworthy foe, I don't think a Chinaman wrote that, carefully remove the drill press from the packaging. Make sure to take out all contents. Yeah, do not discard packaging until it's completely assembled. Good advice. Cleaning the work table surface, your drill press comes protected with a layer of anti-rust coating on its exposed non-painted metal surfaces. Clean using soft gloss and waste kerosene. I ain't got no kerosene, bro. Do not use gasoline or cellulose-based solvents such as paint thinner or lacquers. These will damage painted surfaces. After cleaning, apply a light coat of good quality paste wax to the table and call in front rust. That is good advice. And we got our paste wax ready to go. Oh, moved it over here, got it all set up, and the next step is for the laser to put the batteries. They give you these really cool sounding Air Deer, super heavy duty Pear Deer. Uh, it says mercury free. So we put those in there. It's got a little storage for the chuck adjustment. This has to be pounded on with a piece of wood. Very simple, very simple, straightforward setup. Uh, one note here is that there's four handles that look alike. This handle has bigger threads for the speed adjustment, so just keep that in mind. Interesting that the laser doesn't work off of the power for the unit, but I was thinking about that. And it allows you to uh, measure up your stock, I guess, before you turn the whole unit on. So plus, minus... But pretty good little deal there. So the table is no daylight showing, so that's nice. Uh, pretty good. I mean, if it's not 90, I could see just a little hair on the top. It's 89 something, but I mean, it's very close to being dead on, at least with this drill bit. Yeah, a tiny bit. No problem there. Looks pretty good. This was true, so let's drill a few. Laser. I mean, my laser looks pretty pretty accurate you can adjust them but
And it looks like it's hitting right at the point. Turn it on. Very nice. You can adjust the speed. It's got a digital readout. Look, Ma, straight holes. Uh, it's also got this feature here. You can remove this key, and uh, the kids can't get their uh, legs <laughs> bored into. It's got a depth stop, so it looks like the max is uh, 260. This is kind of like a sticker. So that's the max. Pretty cool feature, though. I mean, you're coming from a hand drill to one of these guys, and uh, living large, man, living large. So when check them out. You can order directly from when I'll put a link to their website. Uh, I'm gonna make some stuff with this. Check out my videos if you want to see uh, some of my uh, some of my uh, inspirational low-level carpentry uh, and other builds and other stuff I do. Do appreciate any subscribers that we can get and uh thanks everybody for watching